The story is, I wasn't allowed to have pencils because they were dangerous and I was too young. And I was living with my grandmother at the time. And when she put me to bed for a nap, somehow I had snuck a pencil in to the crib with me. And when she came to get me out of the crib, she realized the whole crib was covered with drawings of people. And I, I just I love the way they're standing out here in this total empty expanse of desert, or I like to call it neon land. You asked me if I love working in oils. Oils is my media, my favorite media. I mean, I work a lot in pastel too. I do some acrylics and watercolors, but I, I like that it stays wet. I just like the how you can manipulate it um, and how you build up. You can just build up. This will be many layers built up. And over here we have um, religious nuts. It's a face. And once again, I had to find the right nails and the right nuts and the right text. And so they all start the same way, with a little tiny piece of paper, me sketching something, and then I get the objects after I get the idea, and then I paint it big. <laughs> As a child, it seems that I painted myself as a clown. And this one I, I stuck in a frame because I thought it, it looks, I mean, it looks just like this self-portrait in a way. Big eyes, the weird grin, blonde hair. I think that we pretty much established by the time we're like five or six years old, everything we're ever gonna paint. <laughs> 